Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel at Secret International and this is Saloni. Today in this video we are going to talk about few mistakes which students often do while appearing for the US visa interview. I am going to discuss about the few points which you have to keep in mind before you uh, appear for your US visa interview. So the first point I would like to discuss with you is that don't lie to the VO. That means to the VO officer, visa officer. You have to keep one thing in your mind that if you are not aware about the thing, say I am not sure about that. But stop lying to the visa officer because visa officer already have got all the information in front of his screen. He is just cross checking that information. Suppose if the visa officer asks you that do you have any brother or sister in US. So if you really have any brother or sister in US you have to say of course I have my brother and he is there from last 5 years or 6 years whatever you want to say. But don't lie. The second most important thing that you should bear in your mind is that having a natural conversation. Bear it in your mind that you have to do a very natural and very calm conversation by making a smile or having a smile on your face. Don't show to the VO, the visa officer that you have a crammed your answer because that will have a negative impact on your file and there are chances that you may get rejected. The third thing is that don't be over prepared or don't be under prepared. This means that you don't have to uh, keep every knowledge into your mind regarding your college, regarding USA or regarding whatever you are going to go there or whatever you're going to have there in the USA. Or don't be under prepared. Don't take it so lightly that of course it's related to me and I know that what I have to say. Don't do that. Try to have mock interviews uh, with your friends or with your family and if you don't have anyone with whom you can take your mock interviews then we people are there. We are going to help you. You. and if you want to have the mock interview with us or if you want to prepare the visa interview with us then we are there to help you and the number is mentioned here just message or call on this number that if you really want to have a mock interviews with us and get your visa accepted Another thing you need to pay heed is that don't overshare. Sometimes what happens if the student appear in front of the VO visa officer and that person or that student started sharing everything about their family or everything about their brother or sister living or residing in the US. No, you have to simply share that much which, which much is required. For example, if the VO asks you that um, what is your family income or if the VO asks you that you have any uh, sibling in your US or do you have any relative in your US so you uh, start sharing everything about that. Of course, I have my sister you where she is doing this she is working in xyz company and she's getting a very good salary no just simply describe that yes of course i have my sister and she's studying there or she's working there or whatever you want to say or you can also describe that she's in the new york that's it don't describe everything in detail because if you describe everything in detail the examiner will have number of questions out of that to you and you will get confused and yes one more thing that you should uh, focus on is that don't be rude and don't be so uh, short with your answer in some cultures it is considered that giving short answers mean being rude no it's not like that you don't have to give very short answer you don't have to give very long answer try to be to the point while giving your answers otherwise the VO will ask you number of questions out of that answer only next thing that you should uh, have in your mind is that taking all your documents or all your required documents sometimes what happens the students face rejections because he or she might not be carrying the complete documents for instance if an examiner or if an VO officer asks you to show you about your uh, show you your bank statement and you're just carrying your balance certificate that can be rejection chances or you or you can be rejected under 221g so keep in your mind that carry all the required documents and if you don't know what are the required documents uh, do subscribe our channel because in the coming days we are going to make the videos on uh, documents checklist for f1 visa or we have also mentioned in other videos and if you have not checked out our other videos do check it out you will get a checklist for the f1 visa you might have heard number of times that confidence is the key to success. The same goes with in US visa interview also that if you show confidence in your body language, in your speaking, then that is the key of success for your US visa. Try to be very confident. Your body language matters there a lot. If you show that you are confident enough with your profile and whatever you are answering, you know that very well. You know your profile in detail. That means you, there are more chances for you to get accepted for the US visa. But if you don't make an eye contact, if 
you have very poor body language, then that means your chances are more that you will get rejected. One of the most important questions that the viewer will definitely ask you and that is about your future plans. Or he may ask about that, uh, will you return to your country? These are the alternative questions but means the same. So what do you have to answer? You have to show your family ties or you have to show your strong ties with your home country. You can say that uh, I am the only uh, family, uh, only son, only daughter of my family. So I will definitely return to my country after my study. Or you can say that you have got an opportunity from your company to uh, start their company company after completing your studies you have to the basic thing is that you need to show your ties to your family that you have to prove that you are a genuine student and you're just going to the US only to study and not to reside there for the long time or to get the PR there you have to prove the examiner or the VO officer visa officer that you will return to your country after completing your study one of the most essential thing that every one of you out there must be uh, must be clear with is that whatever you're going to study in the US you're that that study program should be relevant with your previous study programs for instance if you uh, if you're going to study uh, related to medical there in US but your background is related to engineering line or the, the mechanical line that means your uh, the further studies is not relevant to your previous studies and there are more chances that you can face the rejection but Obviously, if you have changed your field, then you need to prove or need to provide some evidence or you need to describe to the VO that why you have changed your field. And if you become successful in proving the visa officer that this is the reason why you're changing your stream or why you're changing your field, then there are some chances that you can be accepted. And the very, very, very essential point that is that don't forget to check the ranking of your college where you're going to apply. That means for them, college ranking matters the most. If you have just applied to a college that has very lower ranking or that don't have that much rank in comparison to the other universities or college, there are more chances that you maybe get uh, rejection or may, you may be denied. So this was all about the video. I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video and share it with all your friends whosoever requires this. So thank you. Stay fit and stay healthy.